Which, what is that? Is that an animal skull? <gasps> it is! Imagine finding an animal skull underneath your car. Let's just turn around. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video and to another episode of the series with my Audi S3 8L. This car now, aside from being maybe left outside for a couple of days, is looking really quite tidy. We've all seen the absolute state that the car was in uh, when I bought it. We've cleaned it up both outside and inside. This video, I wanted to basically almost give myself a bit of a checklist of what is wrong with the car, both cosmetically and also mechanically. There's a couple of things I've noticed whilst I've been maneuvering the car around and stuff like that. And I wanted to document that with you because I haven't really spoken too much about the condition of the car itself. But either way, it's gonna be good practice to basically go around the car and make a checklist of what's wrong with it, what's important to fix, and what is just part of the car itself. So whilst the car's sat here, let's have a walk around it. And I can point out some of the things which aren't really too ideal with my Audi S3 8L. So if this is the first video you're watching on my channel or even uh, of this S3 project, then this is a car which I bought a little while ago uh, as a completely abandoned mess. It had been abandoned uh, basically for about five years, completely unloved, moldy, grimy, and just horrible. But yeah, it's an awesome car. It's on 188,000 miles, and to be honest, it's looking pretty tidy compared to what it was when I bought it. So if you haven't seen anything yet on the series of this car, go check out the previous videos to see for yourself. But seeing as the car is sat here, I think what better way to start with the cosmetic side uh, of this car. Now, obviously the paint is completely covered in swirl marks and there's still a lot of contamination on there. I need to clay bar it, which is what I'm gonna do later on down the line in a future video coming soon where we really detail this car. Go in heavy, machine polish it, and give it a nice ceramic coating. So stay tuned for that, as I said. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically we've taken off uh, a thick layer of grime that was, well, sat on the car, both inside and outside. But there is still some correction to be made, as you can see, even just in the sunlit, heavy swirling. It's uh, metallic black, of course, so uh, yeah, prone to showing all of the imperfections. However, let's dive in. We're gonna start from the front and move back, I think, probably go uh, clockwise around the car. Um, the headlights, this is something which um, a few of you have noticed. Now these, I believe, would probably be an MOT failure because they are so cloudy, so kind of hazed over with all the uh, UV damage over the years that it was just sat. Um, this, yes, definitely we're gonna get sorted. Uh, should be a pretty satisfying difference uh, as well. You can see a pretty heavy area of lack appeal. This front bumper is fairly chipped. Uh, you can see there's lots of areas of lack appeal uh, and obviously stone chipping as well, which you're going to imagine. Uh, I do plan on restoring these kind of grey trims. You've got this um, kind of shade of, uh, of grey on the front and also the rear, which I'll show you in a moment. That'll look really nice restored. I think a new set of plates is probably going to be uh, worthwhile as well. See the letters, I'm not sure if that would be an advisory or something. They're not delaminating as such, they're kind of just fading. But yeah, I mean, the front bumper is not too bad, really, all things considered. Uh, we've got some nice rusty stone chips but to be honest chip wise it's not actually too bad you've got a couple kind of on the leading edge but all things considered it's not that bad it's obviously been painted before on the front end um but yeah not too bad really on the front end actually there's a scrape there that would come out that would polish which we can tackle in a later episode rust on this car is quite a problem in numerous locations now here on the driver's side or offside front wing we can see a huge rust bubble that is massive actually don't really want to make it too uh, much worse for obvious reasons but yeah that is not good and actually a suggestion in one of the videos uh, previously was to actually take off the wheel arch liners and basically clear out all the grime under there because that could sit when it gets wet it could you know create moisture and then rust from the inside out so that is a really good suggestion i can't remember who suggested that but thank you very much i don't think that's relevant to what we see here 
But yeah, that is a pretty big rust scab we can see on it there. See it again, a lot of scratches, fairly deep scratching there. If we move into the door, driver's door, this, you can feel it with your nail, that has gone right through. I think it's been keyed to be honest, that kind of looks like what that is. That is just something we're gonna to have to live with because to be honest, I do want to avoid painting the car really you know as i said it's done 188,000 miles it's never going to be perfect we've obviously made a difference uh, to what it was when we first bought it but it's never going to be perfect just noticed actually we also have this gray trim down the side of the car as well so that we can restore and if you remember the uh, exterior cleaning video there was literally moss growing all along here it was real bad in fact is that oh yeah it's more rust um, yeah, there's a ton of dents all around the car as well. We can get those out with paintless dent removal. I could probably count about 20 on the car. I mean, there's four on this door alone, which is uh, not great. And also, we would have seen this quarter. Um, well, I think I've highlighted this before in a previous video. Quite hard to make out, but basically it just looks like someone's gone along with some grit and just done that because look at this here. You see the kind of circular swell marks but that, yeah just annoying really if it was a white car that wouldn't really show but yeah once it is actually completely clean you notice it quite a lot rear bumper then is where things do get worse we've got a huge crack here on the driver's side bumper corner and it's actually popped out uh, and i think perhaps sheared the connectors or fixings on the inside here yeah i think it has because that is part of the bumper in there but i'm thinking i don't know if that will plastic well because it's obviously a high tension area and i mean if we push this in we can you can see it kind of pushes that out so i don't know if we can really get that fixed or to be honest absolute worst case i'm sure a black audi s3 8l uh, undamaged bumper is fairly cheap so i think worst case that's the avenue we'll go down. Tailgate, more rust. Huge bits of rust here and here, which is actually interesting because that is just above both number plate lights. And I don't know where, whether there's like moisture, which has been trapped in the lights themselves and then it's kind of just rusted out. That is bad. That is real bad. But I mean, to be honest, aside from that, rear bumper, apart from a little bit of lack of peel, a couple of scratches where things have been kind of dragged in and out of the car, it isn't too bad. Rear lights as well, actually. They're not too bad. Probably could do with a bit of a polish. They've faded a little bit. But yeah, no cracks, no water ingress in there. Just notice two more dents as well. There is a lot of dents on this car. Lots of dents. <laughs> it's very much a case of the more you look, the more you see. Down to the passenger side and surprise, surprise, more rust. That is again something we're gonna to have to live with because that, if we wanted to get that painted, it would be probably blended into the roof, complete quarter all the way down towards the front wing. But yeah, that is, I don't know why that's done that there. I don't think you can have roof bars on the car or anything. So that's just weird. And it's not the case on the other side or towards the front here, but that's a thing, no worries. Um, more dents lovely and actually this quarter is kind of stoved in a little bit again i'm not really too fussed about half of this to be honest i'm merely just making a note uh, a couple of scratches they might polish out on the mirrors uh, windscreen aside from being covered in a little bit of tree sap there's a few chips in that but no cracks or anything looks to be well it's a genuine screen so i'm sure it's been replaced in its life but yeah that is essentially most of the car this wing no rust and no dents surprisingly but again down here there's actually still a little bit of moss in there i actually scratches there both sill panels are okay they're not stoved in which is good and one thing i haven't touched on so far is the wheels the wheels are actually as a whole pretty good uh, we've obviously got some chipping on the center center caps they're actually like a satin gray which i don't think is factory yeah they look quite cool i didn't actually realize before I cleaned the car, I thought that they were just real dirty and brown, uh, but they're actually satin, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think this tire has a slow puncture though, because I put some air in it. Um, I think maybe just the, the bead has failed over time, or maybe just the, the valve, something like that. But I think to be honest, the tires are pretty old. I think they're 2019s, uh, which isn't too bad actually, but they've just been sat outside and there's a fair amount of surface cracking on all four. Now we're, it's gonna be very obvious when we take this for a spin, but there's quite a bit of problem with the rear. I think the handbrake 
when it was parked up must have been applied. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the handbrake caliper or the handbrake shoe or whatever you want to call it is seized. Now, looking at the rear actually, this side or this wheel did clean up pretty well. Fairly heavy brake dust, but it came straight off, aside for some kind of corrosion on the discs. But this side, I didn't actually show this in the cleaning video because it was a bit embarrassing, but this is still brake dust and it is literally absolutely caked. This caliper looks a little bit different to the other one. So I think maybe it had um, a binding caliper, but I think now the handbrake caliper is also uh, seized. I don't know if that's within the same caliper. Either way, there's something going on back here. The front seem okay, although there is one thing actually, which a fair few people did mention to me, I think even in the reveal video. Yes, it was when I kind of reversed it out and I noticed one thing which was actually quite bad. If you stand at the front of the car, or kind of, well, anywhere around the car, it's a bit like that. It's, 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 not, it's not straight, and I think that is because we have a collapsed spring. This side is a lot lower and a lot clunkier <laughs> than this side. Um, so I think, yes, we may well have a collapsed spring. But, but to be honest, when I had the wheels off for the cleaning, I couldn't see anything. Maybe it's top mounts. Um, in fact, that could be a thing, and I will show you under here because I might need some advice. In the bonnet, the top mounts are very visible. They're not hidden underneath any kind of panelling. This side here has a gap. I don't know if that is normal or that is normal. There's no gap. The kind of rubber at the top seems to be, I mean, you can take this off seems to be, I don't know if that's newer than on this side. It's about the same actually, but I don't know whether something has collapsed on this side or something is sitting higher, and maybe fitted wrong on that side. Anyone that knows, please let me know because I have no idea what's going on in here. Anyway, whilst we are under here, um, oil level is okay. I did actually check that. I know I didn't film it and a lot of you were like, that car's been abandoned for so long and you've just started it without checking the oil. I did check the oil and it is okay. However, the coolant, less so. Um, it was a little bit low um, when I got the car and I topped it right up. Looking at this, it is just above the minimum now, again. So there is some kind of small-ish coolant leak, uh, which we're gonna have a look at. Oh, one more thing, sorry, before we do uh, take it for a little spin, battery. I tried to revive it, it's shot, need to get a new one. I literally have to jump start it every time I want to move it. Um, so we're gonna do that now, actually. Uh, I'm gonna get a battery on order, get it fired up and take it for a quick spin. Okay, let us get on the road at 21 minutes past one on the 1st of January 2000. Lovely, that still hasn't corrected itself. Is this mouldy again? No, we're good. That's the handbrake. So the aim here, I just wanna, yeah, that pulls drastically to the right. <laughs> I want to see if I can free off the brakes. I tell you what, if I stall here, I am screwed. Good alignment is unbelievably off. Let's just turn around in here. There's PL. It's seized, yeah. Sounds nice. No, it's not too bad. Apart from whatever is going on at the back, I can't hear any kind of suspension knocking or anything from the front. I think we'll get it on the ramp and uh, have a little look on the side, see what's going on under there. Okay, 
car is now on the ramp, as we can see, and we are gonna dive straight under here and have a little look. Obviously, extremely crusty, so rear subframe is, yeah, very crusty. <laughs> Looks okay, uh, but yeah, very crusty. What is quite concerning though, is both rear wheels are turning freely, so they're not seized or anything. I don't know if that then means that it's a problem with the diff, because obviously when we're at full lock, trying to pull away, there's like that banging from the, from the back as if something is seized and it's kind of giving way. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, we'll gloss over that. Um, exhaust, God, look how restrictive that is there, look. That's crazy. Exhaust mounts look okay, though. Resonator central section. God, look how rusty that is. That is bad. It's not like there's any blows in the exhaust though, which actually tallies up because it actually sounds quite nice. A uh, bit of oil, front diff, transfer case, gearbox. There's the belt, one of them anyway. That actually looks okay. Bruce, what is that? Is that an animal skull? What in the world is that? It is. That's, that's bone. Oh my day. <laughs> Imagine finding an animal skull underneath your car. That is wild. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm sorry. What? Is it a skull? That's mental. That is officially mental. Uh, very interesting. It's obviously very rusty. Bit of an oil leak. A uh, bit damp around the drive shafts. That looks quite new. Tyres, as I said, despite being 2019 tyres when this car was laid up, it must have done quite a few miles in that year because inside edge of the tyres are gone and obviously the uh, cracks, the surface cracks in them. In fact, let's have a little wander around up here. So passenger side front spring seems okay. Not bad. So this is the side I'm concerned about. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> well, that'll do it. Look at that. It's sheared. So that should be connected to that. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> that explains that then fairly comprehensively. Anyway, right, what else? Uh, a few oil leaks, that's no biggie. Fuel tank, so the kind of bracket of that is a little bit rusty. Rear springs though, uh, ooh, okay, that's fine. We're, we're just gonna pop that back, there we go. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then this side, passenger side. Uh, hang on a minute. Is that more? Oh, 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 there we go. Bosh. Hmm, <laughs> okay, right. It looks as if we need offside front, near side rear. That might be all the knocking then. It might just be two collapsed springs. That would be good, because I really don't want it to be the diff. Crikey. <laughs> this is fascinating to me. So this, this caliper here, that is new and it's not a genuine one because I can see a recycled uh, like logo from a company. Whereas this one's obviously genuine. VW Audi, Bosch. Okay, some more findings then. Um, springs, there's no point doing just one front and one rear, right? Obviously the car needs a service, full service, which we've glossed over before. And a bit of damage under here, that's fine. But yeah, let me know if you have seen anything that I might have missed. Some interesting findings then. Um, probably shouldn't really be holding this, but yes, 
Cold springs, the more I think about it, the more I think that that is all the, the, the crashing and banging when you're on full lock. Get a set of them ordered, probably get a new battery ordered, and obviously get it fully serviced, which we'll be seeing soon. Probably do all of that in one video, and then it'll be ready to put it in for an MOT, hopefully, providing there's nothing else which you've seen in the video uh, from the underside that you reckon I should do. This I kind of expected, and I kind of knew anyway, because looking at it from the front, you could just tell that it was on an angle. Um, but yeah, that's pretty catastrophic actually. Probably shouldn't have driven it a little bit, but hey-ho, we move. Um, yeah, so that is everything that is wrong, essentially, with uh, this car. Not actually too bad. Cosmetically, it's not great, but given the mileage and age and the fact that it's, you know, been sat around a long time over the last five years, then it's not really too awful. And the same goes for kind of mechanically as well. As I said at the start, I am enjoying this project so much. And to be honest, I plan on maybe doing a few more as well in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, that is the plan of action next. There's still a lot of work that we need to do to the car. And I'm looking forward to getting it stuck in. Um, but yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.